So hello creatives, my name is Dante and you're watching my first time creating a clay piece. Now this portrait piece was done at Talbert Taylor Studio in Spanish Town, where Mr. Taylor, a teacher and a clay artist, guided me through the process of creating my sketch called the head of bookman the first thing that we did was create a cylinder which was demonstrated by mr taylor how to make for the foundation of the head So after creating the cylinder, um, Mr. Taylor then indicated to me an uh, easy way in creating the head by using my reflection to guide where I would put certain physical features and all like, like the jaw, the eyes, the mouth, the nose. And unfortunately, I did not get to document this part of the project, but I got to document when I was doing the ears which we used the coil technique. We also waited for the clay to dry for a couple of days so that it had a stronger foundation for us to work on and to smooth out other areas of the physical features on the face, like the nose, the chin, etc. Another thing that happened was that when creating the face, um, it was perfectly sculpted in my eyes for my first time, but it began to sink because the head was too heavy to stay on the neck so i was kind of disappointed but i still tried to sculpt it or fix it in the best way possible and at the end i ended up loving it My classmates and I also had the opportunity of learning how each clay piece was going to be baked by Mr. Taylor. Guys, yeah, we're going to look on the oven. Good afternoon, my hey. name is Mr. Taylor. Yeah. Right, I'm also a painter and a ceramic artist and I teach part-time, right? Mm -hmm. Now, this oven that you're looking at right here, it's a, a gas oven. But we don't use the word oven, we use the word killer, right? Mm -hmm. K-I-L-N. Now you have various types. You have the electric one, you have the coal one, but at the moment you're looking at a, at a gas one. Now, the fiber that make up this, it's a refractable fiber. The refractable fiber comes in, there's two ways the refractable, refractable fiber comes. It comes in brick format and also comes in um, like a cotton fiber. Right? Now, the same fiber that made the brick and the cotton, mm -hmm. is the same fiber that made the power plants. Like the place power plant, that's what they use to um, um, insulate. insulate the place so that the energy can stay in. That means that I, could, I, can stop, I can stop right here, like this, mm -hmm. and inside of it, you know, you have a 3000 degrees Celsius and a baby can come right beside it and don't know that it turned on. Really? Because when, it, when the heat trap inside of it, you can rest it on it like this yeah. and it will not burn it. But if Whoa. you put your finger through the peephole, it will cook it. So why is there a peephole? So that it don't explode? Okay. Remember, once it turns on and there is a certain temperature inside here, you can't hold it up. Yeah. You have to wait until it cools back down by itself. To open it. so, so imagine. Imagine a volcano then, right? Mm -hmm. Now that the volcano erupt, 
You want to say nobody don't want to stay near it, mm -hmm. right? That means that if the pressure cooker cover come off of the top of the volcano, okay. they can explode and yeah. everything will come out of it. If you open this, you are just like the volcano. Everything come out of it, yeah. and whatever beside it will get burned. Look at this um, oven. This is some spring inside of it. Yeah. It was originally an electric oven. Oh. You understand? So this refractory brick. Mm -hmm. This is a refractory fiber. Yeah. You understand? So no matter the temperature inside of it, mm -hmm. this is what makes it get hot. So say how long it takes to bake the clay into this? Okay. Um how long it takes to bake the cake? As I said, for biscuit frying, it's about 900 degrees Celsius. But guess what now? No? We have different type of clay. Okay. We have the away clay. The clay that you are using to do your work, that's earn away clay. That's the cheapest and that clay cannot go to as we reach about the maximum that clay can go is 1000 degrees Celsius. Mm -hmm. Now it's stone away clay you now. Stone away clay can go up to 3000 degrees Celsius. That's the clay that they use. You know, like the, the astronaut they've got a space? Yeah. It's that, it's that clay body that they use to build the outside of it. Now, we use clay also to make peace. Some of the material that make it thin, we call toothpaste, it's from clay. Mm -hmm. um, the, the dentist, the, 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 the denture, the denture mm -hmm. from, from, from clay also. Mm -hmm. So that's how clay pieces are basically baked. And before they baked, Mr. Taylor told us that we have to wait like a week for them to dry. It's preventing them from exploding in the kiln and also to ensure that there's no cracks that come upon the pieces while it is baking and as a young artist I feel like it's good to learn different art forms so you know which one you really want to go into or which others you'd like to do and I like to see myself going into more and not just limiting myself to just painting and I hope I hope this you enjoy this video tell me comment down below and tell me how you think I have done on this piece as it was my first time and also one of the other things that made me more proud of this piece I did not expect it to come out this way it was like basically out of faith and when you're doing art you basically have to expect the unexpected the end product will be posted on my page after this video so please go and like that I hope you enjoyed the video and I will try to make more documentaries of me experimenting and learning how to do different art forms. Thank you guys for watching. This is the end of the video and remember to trust your hearts, like, comment and share this to others. Ha <laughs> ha